Well, dear my friends, actually in view optics, polarization of light is what the last phenomena which we have to study. Actually in CBSC exam, I think this chapter is deleted at all, but this chapter is very important for study of physics. Many topics are related to polarization and I have noticed <coughs> that this topic is not properly understood <coughs> and not properly taught by teachers to the students. <coughs> First of all, we have to understand the meaning of polarization. What is polarization? If we have a mixture of variety of things, or only two types of things mixed together, then to make them get separated, one type, one side, other type, other side. Then it means polarization. Like in our politics, we have learned in World War II, like-minded countries get divided in two parties. So that was called polarization of power. And in every country, political leaders, always divide the things like in India we are generally uh, every uh, reporter in a, during the election day says that this party is polarizing the votes Hindu and Muslim get separated that is called polarization Please try to understand what is polarization. Now, what is the polarization light? Actually, the definition I will tell you later, but try to understand. You know, we know light waves are electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves. And I have told you electromagnetic waves consist of electric magnetic field. The electric field vector of EM waves within certain wavelength range na, produces sensation of sight on our eye. The electric field and magnetic field and magnetic field of EM wave are normal to each other and also normal to the direction of 
propagation. of light electrical magnetic field both are perpendicular to each other and also perpendicular direction of propagation of waves and it is the electric field only which produces sensation of sight on our eye in a beam of light electric field vector electric field vector is distributed in all possible direction in all possible direction in a plane which is normal or i should say perpendicular perpendicular to the direction of propagation direction of propagation as shown in figure this is the direction of propagation of light say go this way if i consider here a plane which is perpendicular to the direction of propagation of light here light wave going this way and uh, electric field vector here in this plane is found to be in all possible direction i hope you are getting my point i can show you here like this if it is the plane and the light going this way the electric field this way and all direction are there of electric field vector to so electric field vector actually a student met me sir please use mixture of language hindi english means i should use english here hindi or english mila kar ke bolte hain english but i think there is no need if someone actually typically learning in hindi then for him i feel there may be problem but students studying in english medium school may understand it all properly so i hope you have got the plane which is at right angle direction of propagation electric field vector is in you know, all possible direction in this plane so such light having vibration of electric field in all possible direction of plane is called unpolarized light this is called unpolarized bachche log kya hota hai chup chaap bache rehte hain they never put their problem we are not getting like this what our whatever teacher is saying so if you have any problem please give me the message i have treated light wave the electromagnetic wave while telling interference of light for this reason only 
because actually people are not clear about wave. I have told you many times what is wave. I have told you that if electromagnetic wave is there, there is periodically varying electromagnetic wave within a given value of electric which is maximum value cold and fuel. This is the instantaneous value of the electric field I have shown here. Now, here my problem is how to explain polarization. Polarization may take place by different methods also. But initially, how the polarization was observed? I am rubbing this. Light was passed through chromium crystal and then it was studied, observed by rotating the axis of crystal. So here I am drawing two di uh, one diagram here. It is symbol of symbolical diagram of chromium crystal. This is called optical axis. I will tell you what is this axis. Another also plays here. These are two trumeline crystals. Trumeline. Trumeline, one is trumeline crystal. Trumeline. Uh, actually, these are high, long chain fatty acids, long chain carbon compound. Trumelin is a long chain carbonic acids. They are because they have large number of carbon atoms, so they form a transparent solid. You know, every Organic really compound is transparent. I, I, I hope you know it. These are two trimming crystals. When unpolarized light, I'm saying again here, unpolarized light is incident here. This is unpolarized light. While far through the crystal, then Vibration of electric field were found only in one direction. Now, these are not visible to eye. Don't get confused. It is indirectly observed. This is called young polarizer. Polarizer. This crystal is analyzer here. Actually, when this was rotated, when these were parallel to each other, so whatever the intensity here, if it is I0 here, it was found to be I0 by 2, practically. The intensity of light emerging from polarizer is reduced to half and then here the intensity coming out varies with the rotation and this was found to be equal to I0 by 2 cos square theta theta will be the angle I may draw it again here a figure if it is like this And another now it wrote like this. Then this is that angle theta here. That's it has been rotated through theta. Then intensity of light here of light reducing. And when theta become 90, cos 90 0, if theta 90, I equal to 0, light get cut off. 
So from this observation, he will uh, explain that the vibration will be parallel to this axis are coming out. And here they are parallel, so intensity is here I0, because theta 0 to I0. Eh? Here this equation is called Malus law. You can rotate any of the two, the light, the crystal on which light, unpolarized light falls, unpolarized, unpolarized, polarized, unpolarized light is called polarizer and on which it is so I like falling pole and liner. Whether you rotate this or this, anyone, and there is angle theta, then intensity coming out of analyzer is given by I equal to I0 by 2 cos square theta. Here I told you it is I0, it, is, it will be exactly half. I can explain you why it is so half. And then analyzer. Now you might be thinking what is happening here? And here is the problem. In explaining polarization, there is a problem. So what is polarization? Simply, you can say, okay, when light passes through, when unpolarized light, when unpolarized, light is passed, through prevailing crystal the vibration of electric field This phenomenon of light in which light electric uh, the electric vector get vibration of electric field only in one direction is polarization. You can write. So why it is happening? Here is the problem. So polarization of light I think you might have got what is this? Vibration of electric field on passing through the tubular crystal get confined only in one direction. And this light is called plain polarized light. Now why it is so? Tubular crystal, I told you, is long chain fatty acid. Long chain fatty acid consists of a long chain of carbon atoms bonding together with single covalent bond like this. Now, what is the meaning of this line here? Students say, sir, it is bone, but what is bone? And why it is not, why not like this? Why not like this? Case of an Quantum mechanically, actually here we can't discuss all the things. It has been proved. Carbonic compound. Carbon has covalent bonding and covalent bonding takes place by shearing of electrons. A single covalent bond is formed by sharing of two electrons together. And this line we present here, the electron has freedom only to vibrate along this line. Please listen to me very carefully. Electrons are only free to oscillate along the bond length, nothing else. 
or means probability of finding electron in case of quantum mechanics. Probability of finding electron is maximum along this length. And hence electrons are free to proceed along this length. Now when light fall on crystal of chromium, the vibrations of electric field which are parallel to this bond length get absorbed. Please listen to me very carefully here. Vibration of electric field which are parallel to this bond length get absorbed and which are perpendicular, they are not absorbed and that light come out, come out. I hope you have some time tried to find out why metals are opaque means or ionic compound are opaque and uh, covalent compound are transparent. It is because of this region. The electrical vector which are parallel to bone length get absorbed and uh, that come out. In metals or ionic compound all elect because there is no covalent bond electrons are not and uh, in matter free electrons are there they can absorb any amount of energy so whatsoever the light falling on metal all vi vibration of electric get absorbed here the only vibration which are parallel to bone length <coughs> they only get absorbed i will explain you many things more but this is one major um, Theory. People think that there is some slit like this. There is no slit. It is a transparent material having no cut inside. People keep on explaining like this. This is very bad. So here, this axis, which is perpendicular to this bone length, is called optical uh, axis or pass axis of crystal. Pass axis. NCRT used pass axis. So, this is parallel to vibration electrical law, it will absorb the energy, the rest will absorb the energy. Thank you. I will meet with more explanation on polarization. Polarization can take place by reflection, refraction. This is refraction. Reflection. One more phenomena is scattering also produce uh, polarization, not only, only passing through that material. Thank you.